What really sets tech apart is how our students put their academic knowledge to use in the real world. Our cooperative education program is the largest voluntary co-op program in the U.S. Whether you want to join a large corporation or start your own company, the entrepreneurial skills taught at tech will help you thrive. One of the great things about education, right, is not just that you sit and read books, it's not just that a professor stands there and holds forth and gives you information curated from his or her brain, it's that you have an opportunity to actually play and see the impact of the theories that you're learning. Georgia Tech has been like that since the very beginning. From its engineering background, uh, it has developed a set of curricula and really a culture that's around building, that's around touching and understanding those implications. And by the way, that's true whether you're a mechanical engineer or whether you've made the right decision and decided to go into computer science, or whether you're going into public policy or modern languages, no matter what it is, everything gets connected to the real world. And that gets that gets expressed in two ways. One, it gets expressed on the campus itself, right? There's lots of opportunities to do research. There's lots of opportunities to do projects with groups or by yourself. It's all built into the curriculum. But the second way that it gets realized is that Georgia Tech is one of the best places for uh, people who wanna do real world internships during the summer. And because the outside world, because industry knows that we are good at what we do, you can get that internship at the end of your first year. You don't have to wait until your junior uh, or beginning of your senior year in order to have that experience. It can happen from the very beginning. So then you take that experience out there and you can bring it back to what you're doing uh, on campus. But also those companies you're working with, they are going to follow you back on campus. If you go just down the street over here, you're not just going to cross the highway. You're going to actually see an entire square, a techn technological square, where there are companies from all over the country who want to have a presence at Georgia Tech so that they can work with students even during the school year. So from the beginning to end, from the first day that you walk in to the last day that you leave, you are touching the world and you are having these hands-on experiences. There's never been a better time to be a Georgia Tech student than right now. You know, Georgia Tech's been around over 130 years and right now is the best time to be a Georgia Tech student because so much of the focus is on student ideas. The students at Georgia Tech are very inventive, technically savvy. But at Georgia Tech, what they learn is, you know, they're able to work together in teams, they're able to take advantage of places like the uh, Makerspace. The students are able to go there and use millions of dollars worth of equipment that no single person would ever have access to. And so the, they're, able to uh, they're able to have access to this equipment all the way from, you know, 3D printers that can make something out of cheese whiz to laser jet cutters that can cut through an inch of steel, you know, and everything in between. While I've been at Tech, I've been fortunate to actually do three co-ops. Um, so my very first one was um, two years ago. I was working in Cincinnati for GE Aviation. So it was, it was really, what was really cool about it was that, I mean, so I'm a mechanical engineering major, and so I got to work on jet engines, which I got to work like hands-on, work on different components and repair techniques. So it was a really unique experience being able to apply what I learned in the classroom into actual machinery that went into actual airplanes, which is really interesting. Um, the other two co-ops, I was with ExxonMobil as well as Chevron. And so there, I was um, in Houston, Texas, and I was actually working remotely in my other one. It was always really interesting being able to kind of take a break from classes and being able to apply what I learned in the classroom and really big corporations and take on really challenging projects. So students are our best asset at Georgia Tech. I mean, we have this crop of amazingly talented students and they actually are clamoring for real world experiences. They want to be part of the climate solution. And so when they come to us and they see something about the sea level sensor project, we get inundated with emails from students, undergraduate students and graduate students alike, saying, how can I be part of this? Um, I'm a computer scientist, I'm an engineer, I'm a sociologist, I'm a digital media expert. And we say, oh yes, come, come over here and be part of this growing team of people. And so there's so much capacity to plug in and be part of the solution with whatever background you have, whatever professional goals you have to gain that kind of real world experience. And so they are an invaluable part of our team and in turn we feel we're an invaluable part of their education. I had uh, two internship experiences with Bank of America. Um, I worked as a global procurement analyst um, and I absolutely loved my time there. I got a chance to really incorporate some of my industrial engineering background um, with logistics and planning and things like that um, with some of our third party vendors. So it was really fun to kind of incorporate things in the classroom setting outside of things. Um, it's like the real world. So I think it's easy to get stuck in that tech bubble and feeling like um, 
you're not doing a lot or you're kind of like falling behind. But when you go out into the real world and you get to work in the workplace, you realize just how much like the school is really shaping you and molding you to become like the best you can possibly be. The co-op that I chose was um, a little bit different of an experience because as a computer science major, um, I wasn't coding in this position. It was more of a project management, i.e. Um, industrial engineering sort of position. So it definitely was a different viewpoint, but as I've gone um, into a lot of looking into different roles, for example, I've accepted an internship for next summer as a software engineer intern. And while this past role wasn't coding, it was really a big step forward into a professional workplace, into understanding different type of working styles. From a non-technical standpoint, it really just set me up to understand work-life balance. I have a much bigger sense of communication and that people background and product management background, even though it's not necessarily coding as well.